So April financials, everyone should have received those in your mailbox. Uh, they were actually ready early this month. I think they went out around May 10th and they yep. are um, posted on the website also. So it is for the month of April. So target is 33.33%. In revenue, you'll see the difference in revenue from 2017 to 2018. The 2018 revenue is greater than 2017 by $146,271. The month's total income was $617,889. Of that, motor vehicles came in at $289,450. Interest on taxes at $54,048. Uh, building permits at $26,314. Highway subsidy at $63,066. Departmental income at $31,447. Under parking lots, you'll um, note that the summer leases are at $50,937. And the daily lot revenue was uh, $8,890. Interest on deposits at $23,754. And the real estate trust at $72,000. $57. On the expense side of things, you'll see, you'll notice that we're at 30.36% spent or under budget by $727,688 or 2.97%. In April of 2017, we were under budget by $504,019. As you've noticed, this is a considerable difference compared to last month which month, which is a good thing. A lot of the quarterly, semi-annual, and yearly payments will continue to balance out as we get further into the year. Since we are coming up on the town's busy season, uh, this gap in actual expenditures to budget will also close as we go through the summer. This month, I'll note any section or department that as a whole is over target, and I'll also point out all of the large departments where they stand. So the town manager is at 33.74%. Finance is at 34.3% when you include the open purchase orders. Legal is at 34.86%. Personnel administration is at 35.64%. The planning department is at 35.10%. General government buildings is at 34.66%. The police department is at 27.5%. Fire is at 29.9%. Emergency management is at 93.06. Everyone always gets panicked at that one, but that's a $1,000 line, so you spend anything out of that, and it is immediately at a very high percentage because it's such a small number. Other services hydrants is at 51.97. We get those bills twice a year, so we've paid one bill so far. Public works is at 31.4%. Parks and recreation is at 31.8%. And on pages 17 and 18, you'll find the activity related to all of the individual uh, warrant articles that were passed this year and in previous years. Fund 24, which is the recreation fund, has a balance of $209,614, which includes the beach sticker donations of 7518 No scholarships have uh, been awarded, but they will once they start registering for all the summer camps and stuff. Fund 25, the Cable Committee has a balance of $421,736. The contract for the new studio has been awarded, so the balance in this fund will continue to drop as work begins. They were in here, I think it was last week. Yep. Um, the company that was awarded the bid was in here starting to um, do like a site visit and work with the part-time employee on Channel 22 now. And, that's gonna, that process is going to begin sooner than we thought, I believe. So that hopefully will be in place within a couple of months and up and running. Fund 26, the private detail has a balance of $140,607. Fund 27, EMS has a balance of 650390 However, that we do still have the ambulance that's on order. I think Fred was saying it was being delivered this week and will be in service in June, but we haven't paid that purchase order. So there's $234,931 um, in an open purchase order. So that's not included in that balance. Wastewater system development charge fees collected in 2018 total 13566 
with a balance in this account of 210,315 and the board has approved a total of $97,376 uh, worth of expenditures that are yet to be expended. So the adjusted balance would be $112,939. And that's my report. Mary Louise, do you have any questions? Yes, I do. Christy, okay. good evening. Thank good you evening. for being here. <coughs> um, you just talked about the wastewater system development charge, which we put in, Fred, if I recall correctly, in 2014. Um, that's what I um, call the toilet tax. <laughs> uh, building taking place that has all new bathrooms. There's a, a fee, and Christy was kind enough, I think I asked her a couple of years ago, yep. to keep a running total on this page. Total fees collected to date, $393,592, and that's used by Public Works for Small Projects at no uh, cost to the taxpayer. That's paid. And the projects uh, are all approved by the board. Right. The selectmen. Right. So I just want to point that out, because that has been, I think, a, a very nice fund to have. Um, the uh, page 18 of 20, yes. uh, 1744 preliminary design downtown, that's article 44. I'm still trying to get my head around this. Um, as I understand, there were four quotes given to the town for the lighting, uh, consolidated communications and first light, which add up to the uh, 11376 expended yep. or, or open POs that you show here. Mm -hmm. And there was uh, also a report from Unitil, and I can't remember the last one, Fred. Do you remember? The other one was Comcast, I believe, and there oh, was Comcast no charge, correct? not going to yeah. charge. But I think there was one other. Unitil, I believe, was the one that was happened in 17. That's and the 5,000 and change, but why? No. no. The Unitil, I believe, was the 32,500, correct, Fred? That correct. was spent in 17. Okay, right. so the, but the 32,500 is not reflected in what? It was off of the beginning balance. So instead, if you look at the, um, let's see, let me find that article in here real quick. So it was, the original article was for 300,000. Correct. The 32,500 was spent in, 17 so the amount brought forward was two hundred and sixty seven thousand five hundred dollars and then this year um we have expended eleven thousand three hundred and seventy six so the balance left in that account is two hundred and forty four thousand seven hundred forty nine which i believe will lapse because that article lapsed on march 31st, march 31st. of this year and there's no other expenditures fred i'm looking points. at fred for that but i'm pretty fair sure point. That fair points Part of that, Fair right? point is the other one, right? So is Bay Ring. Bay Ring. But they didn't give us anything in before March 31st that I'm aware of, unless Fred has others. They no, you've got, them all, you've got them all, including all the telephone. Correct. Okay. Yeah. But why is it showing then an, an open PO, which I assume is consolidated in first light? Yes, that open PO has since, since this report has been generated, has been liquidated. So there's no okay. open purchase order. Okay. So now on the, the available column, it's not really available <coughs> because it, it uh, lapsed on March 31st, but the balance that would have been available is $256,125. That's the amount that will that will go back to the um, unassigned fund balance at the end of the year. Great. I was just getting myself all confused on that, so I appreciate the clarification. And <laughs> let's see. I think I had one more sitting here do, 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 do. oh the cable committee we're going to be talking about this later on so I guess I'm not going to uh, ad address it now mr. chairman what do you think Finally. we have the information right here so we can discuss this while we're talking about the cable uh, stuff thank you Christy mm -hmm. you? I have a question on the cable fund yes so as of, we see in the balance as of April 30th, which April is showing 30th, yes. the 400, is it 400? 421, 421, I think 736. I said. Yeah. Yeah. So is there anything additional that has already been purchased? Well, the contract for the um, station is $260,228.95. <coughs> which has so, not been deducted from the balance. Correct, yep. Okay. And I also um, projected out wages for the year and... Um, taking one-fourth of 
what has been spent so far and then multiplying it out. So my projected year in balance at this point, if they get no other expenses, which is unlikely with the studio going is $293,913. Okay, after all the payouts and everything. Correct, but I, I, I'm almost positive. I didn't haven't reviewed the contract again, but I believe that a piece of the um, contract for the new station didn't include all of the electrical work because we were going to hire a local electrician as opposed to using one of their electricians being shipped in from who knows where. And yeah. um, I believe the cable committee at that time had decided to do yet that. So I know that there will be additional expenses in relationship to the um, contract for the, the new station mm -hmm. that is open. So. Could but yeah, the station cost, the station contract that was approved by the board is not included in the 421735 that was the balance at the end of April. Okay. Okay, I, yeah, I just wanted to ask that question while you were still up here. So, and um, one other thing I noticed, even though we've had a fairly uh, not so nice April, that our parking revenue has gone up a little bit. So that's yeah, it's a good about sign. a $5,000 uh, dollar difference from April of 17 to April of 18. So, so it's a little money, but still every penny helps. Yeah, so hopefully that will be a, yeah. I think it, a casino's had a bunch of shows, and that's yeah. what, what helps. Yeah, we looked at yeah. that, actually, and the number of shows was uh, pretty, was comparable to uh, last April. Um, I So I don't know if it's just those few nice type days and having the lights. Up. Yeah, maybe this is yeah. the type of shows that have brought in more people. But, yeah, <laughs> so and we had a couple of nice days, and I know that the police opened the lots. Um on those uh, on those nice days and stuff so they've been bringing money up uh, daily to us whenever the lots are open they bring up all the money they have to pay and stuff so we've been counting it and depositing it and putting some new controls in place in the parking lot so awesome. I think Thank you'll see you. a lot of improvements uh, in that area Jim yeah thanks for the report it's good yeah the revenue was up 146,271 yes what's that attributed to you know I mean Usually it's uh, motor vehicles. I didn't look at it that closely, but um, the majority of the time it ends up being the motor vehicles. Let's see if I can look through here real quick. Yeah, motor vehicles in April of 2017 was 1,064,771. And in April of 18, it was 1,185,000. So that right there kind of okay. wipes out the whole 146 about, so. And that's revenue that can fluctuate, right? I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. If people are buying cars and re-registering new cars, it's going to go up. If people aren't buying cars, and yep. <laughs> and then I also am noticing that um, we received a state water pollution control at twenty-one thousand that we hadn't received in April of last year. It's probably just a timing thing, though, because those are set, and so we have to receive them. I think we usually get it in May, so that'll probably be on the May report. Um, See if anything else up here is jumping out building permits. That's usually another good one for the difference. Building permits are up about 30,000 from April of this year compared to April of last year. So those are kind of the and that's another the larger of the ones, you know. That's another revenue source that can fluctuate, yep. can go up or down, yeah. depending on how much building is taking place. Yep. And when we said that the parking revenue was up, Yes. Are the police manning that themselves, or, or do they have the no. employees? Do we have these? We have some part-time employees. Yeah. They can get it at a moment's notice? Yeah. yeah. Generally speaking, yes. Yeah. So. Okay. Ones that they had before using. Yeah. And right. yeah, Victor's right. back, and a lot of the people, individuals who worked there last year are all are back. And I think they've hired a couple of new ones, not too many yet. Um, but there are several... Um, Returning employees who are retired, so they have availability and come in, you know, when they hear the weather's going to be nice. Uh, I think Lieutenant Gidley is the one who's leading the charge down at the police department for um, Chief Sawyer. He's the one that we've been working closely with in finance to try and um, put things in the, the cash part in the new practices so that it will be more acceptable to the auditors. Okay. for what we have going on. And with the new practices, do we keep a running t daily tally? Yes, we do. We've always kept a daily tally. Okay. Um, but we literally are getting the daily tallies the next day, okay. as opposed to sometimes there was lapses and when we would have the information Thank available you. for you guys. And now we usually uh, 
except for on Saturday and Sunday because my staff's not here. But um, on all the days that we're here, they bring up the bags the very next morning. And, and when people look at the individual line items, there's some individual line items that are like at 100%, 95%. Correct. There's a reason for that, isn't there? Yeah, most of them would be like um, software contracts yeah, or pay. leases and uniform pay. Yep, that's all paid out the first payroll in April. Some of the career incentives might also be at the 100% because those are payroll related um, in the fire department. You know, uh, a large percentage of goes out in April and then the rest of it will go out in November. They're just like either once or twice a year type of expenditures. Okay. And you keep a good tally, a, a good... I go through this line by line every month and just kind of look to see so and if anything... it's a red flag. Yes, I go and run a report on that uh, line item and kind of go back and see what's been expended from that particular line and see if anything got misscored to the wrong line or reach out to the departments if anything looks Very to good. be out Thank of Thank you. Power. Yes. Um, is can do you are you able to make any determination if the amount of money that's coming in from the cable uh, contract is it uh, at the same rate it always does or is there more or is there less from the franchise fees? Yeah, I did actually look at that when I was looking at some of the cable things, <coughs> and it seems to be the franchise seems to be very close to what they normally are. Um, it was split different before, so some of it was going to cable and some was going to the general fund. Mm -hmm. But the amount that's come in has been fairly level. The some same. like yeah, like I noticed that um, in one quarter of one year we got like eighty-two thousand, and then the next time in that same quarter of the next year we got ninety. But then the following quarter it flip flops. So I'm thinking maybe one had the fifth week in it or something, you know. Um, so then, like, the next quarter was 82 in that year and 90 in the year that had the 82. So they seem to be, uh, for the, I only look back at, like, one or two years, but when I did look back at those, they were fairly steady with uh, what we were receiving all along from that. I haven't seen any drastic increases or decreases great. in that. Thank you so much for your report. Yep. That's all you got. Thank you. That's all you got. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.